Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah if you're new here and today I'm going to give you an update garden tour. I give you one in the spring and now I want to show you how things are progressing now that we're into August, almost mid-August and show you what's growing on here. All right, I'm going to start here with the tomatoes. I have four fence lines of tomatoes here and actually they did not do very good. Now I planted onion with my tomato and I've harvested most of it. Um, but I still have uh, some more to go. They're not rotting yet, so I've not been too worried about it. But I do need to get those out of the ground soon to dry. I did harvest my yellow onion here. I'll show you. Um, that's not bad. This is probably the most I've planted in one year. And so hopefully hopefully next year I can increase that. But um, do you hear my little rooster in the background? So these little guys back here are about three months old maybe going on four and <laughs> he's trying to grow he's so cute we also have a mama hen who sat on eggs for four weeks bless her heart nothing hatched so i was able to get a little chick from the store and give it to her and she is a happy mama now mothering and um i did not want lots of new chicks because i had those guys six of them to add to my flock of 10 and my cage can only hold so much. So anyway, back to the garden. Um, so th these rows are my tomatoes here. You can see my plants are not taking over the, the trellises. So these this row is probably doing the best and I've been getting tomatoes enough to make salsa and such but not enough to can. Now here where there's it's really low and there's small plants, this is where I had the garlic that I harvested and I got a good harvest but it's all very small harvest and I have a video on that but um, I cleared out the, the garlic and now I have um, some winter squash and some more zucchinis and I did a second planting because the bugs that kill zucchinis have touched my zucchini which is I um here I'll show you here this row uh, here you can see my my zucchini plant a lot of my zucchinis did this this year which I planted a lot anticipating that bugs would get them and one way to protect against just a decimation of your crop is to plant and then plant a second crop plant extra um, so we've been getting enough zucchini to eat but nothing to process which I have learned recently you can puree and can zucchini and use it for making zucchini bread um, or same with apples. You can puree apples and can it and save it for like an applesauce bread. So, I mean, obviously we can applesauce. That's normal. But the pureed zucchini I've never heard of. So that was exciting to me. So anyway, I've got my second set of squashes here. Uh, here is my sweet potatoes. They're taking on fine. I planted them late because it took a while for me to clear this row because this is where I have the potatoes. And I had piled up the dirt that I dug up and it just took me a while to finally get back out and move the dirt and and such. So, um, but I don't know if you know this, but sweet potato tips, you can cook those up like stir fry them in oil and some salt. And they're so good. So good. So I love sweet potatoes cooking the plants. I have even more starts that I just started because the sweet potatoes keep shooting out the start. So I'm like, well, if they're going to give me greens, I'll eat them. If I don't get potatoes, that's fine. Uh, this is my potato row. It is full of weeds. This is my garden. It grows weeds. But um, I've already harvested a few potatoes out of here and they were fantastic. So I'm looking forward to some good harvest here. And I need to do this row. And this is my cabbages that I got them in too late. You can see the broccoli here. This is kind of what, what I got. And it just didn't turn out so great. So I'm, I need to clear these two rows. The potatoes aren't fully ready to harvest, but I need to clear the cabbages row because I have new starts that I started indoors that here in August I should get out. They're doing great. I am very hopeful for some winter or fall crops here. Um, this row was beans up top and then the squash down low. The squash pretty much are all gone, um, but I got some squash out of it. The beans are doing great. I don't know what variety of bean this is. But it's just a stringless green bean, and they are fantastic. And you can see the row it just goes and goes. It's doing great. This is another row of squashes and not doing so good. This guy's doing pretty good, though. 
So, uh, my eggplant are not doing much. I was hopeful, um, and I still have hope, but not doing much. My peppers are back here with all these flowers there. Uh, they're doing okay. Here, I don't know if you've ever seen these. This is Chinese long bean. Um, and I let grass grow real bad in this row, and they just weren't doing so great. So I finally weeded them, and they're starting to climb up and stuff. So I, I think there's still time. We can get some good harvest off of that. Uh, what else here? This is another row of squash and beans. The beans are just now coming on. I did plant these later than the, the first few rows. Um, and the squash are holding out okay. I've got a couple plants that I need to pull out. Um, but, and then more beans. And then here are my raspberries. This is exciting. So these produce twice a year. And now they are putting on new branches. The ones that produced this spring and early summer are dying back and I need to cut them out. And then um, the new branches have buds on them ready to produce raspberries for this fall. So that is what is going on in this garden. I'm excited for this row of beans. Uh, I don't remember, I planted some different varieties and I think these might be the, the red beans, the zuki beans. And I wanna try to get some red bean paste and make some Asian cuisines and whatnot. So that is what is growing in my garden. My chickens, my garlic, my onion is harvested. Potato harvest is coming soon. And so if you are gardening and haven't put in a fall harvest, fall crops yet, I think, I'm zone six, I think you can still get carrots in, but do it soon. Um, I don't know if you can get the cold weather crops like the um, cabbages, that you, those I started mid-July, so it might be too late to try that, but hopefully I can get some carrots in. Oh, this grass is also mixed with carrots. I've had some carrots. We don't eat a lot of carrots, so. Um, Anyway, that is the garden. I have a wild uh, squash growing back here in my compost. It's doing its thing. It's surviving, and I've got a, a squash of some sort pumpkin thing back there. So uh, let me show you what I have growing in containers over here because some varieties of plants do well in containers, and, and if you don't have land to grow stuff, grow in a container, and I have some peppers here this is so interesting I posted this on social media these three plants were planted at the same time and um, they were the same size when they went in the pots but this one with the bigger pot is growing better I need to put these two into bigger pots um, so that they are thriving but I just that's very interesting you need a lot of soil I didn't show you, I show you this yet, but these are my ground cherries. They're doing great. Look at how big they are. I need to probably get in there and harvest. It is a little challenging to harvest ground cherries because you gotta dig up underneath them because you know they're ripe when they fall off. So you don't pick them, you collect them. So also, I didn't mention this in the main garden, but I have a bunch of lychee tomatoes growing which I don't know they're very interesting they're very thorny and crazy looking they're intense but these little pods will pop open and turn red and I don't I picked the one that I had ripe so I don't think I have any that I can show you but they are doing great you can see they're shooting up and i hope we enjoy them because there's a good number of them if not i love doing this if you don't like it don't grow it next year but try things try new things see what you like I've tried the ground cherries my daughter loves them so that's what's growing here thank you for tuning in and uh, if you haven't already hit that like button if you want to subscribe so that you're catching more of my content as it comes out do that Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.